Hi, I'm Jim Rao with Gen Swiss. I'm here at our partners Millennium Machinery in South Bend, Indiana, and we're here to show you the Perfect Zero visual alignment system where we're actually putting a camera in the guide bushing or the subspindle of a Swiss machine or the spindle of any CNC machine, and we're going to reduce your setup times, reduce your scrap, increase your tool life, increase your throughput, and all it takes is a very easy calibration of the camera and we start bringing the tools down to the crosshairs just like a video game. Let me show you how it's done. Here we have the guide bushing camera. So since there's no Z movement in the guide bushing and we have to be able to focus the camera, there's an adjustment knob here that you can see adjust the lens in and out of the camera body. So this is how we fine tune the focus of the camera while we're looking at tools in the guide bushing. Half inch diameter fits in any half inch guide bushings with a quick disconnect pigtail on the end. The subspindle camera has the same connection, but since the subspindle has Z axis, we can focus with Z axis on there. It's the same camera, but it's just easier to use with the subspindle. And then we calibrate the camera with these turned parts that have a 20,000th diameter hole in them. We call them targets. It's a calibration target that we can bring the camera into and we'll show you the process on how to calibrate the camera. Here we have the target in an ER collet sleeve position in front of the guide bushing camera. Okay, so we just booted up the Perfect Zero software on the laptop that's included with the system. And we're going to come down here to calibrate manually. And it brings up the red reticle. So we're focused in on the target right now that was shown earlier and we're going to adjust this reticle size to match the hole in the target. So by hitting control plus or control minus, I can adjust the diameter and then by using the arrows, I can place it in the middle of the actual circle. At that point, I'm going to hit enter and space bar and it gives me now 0.2 that it wants. So Derek's going to rotate the spindle around approximately 45 to 90 degrees. Okay, that's good. And now we're going to move the reticle to the hole location now. And we're going to repeat this. Enter, space bar, rotate please. Okay. Move the, move the reticle to the target again. Enter, space bar, rotate. You have to take at least three points to triangulate the circle. This is our fourth point. And what we're doing is we're drawing a digital circle that now that I've got four points, I'm gonna come down here and tell it, determine center. So I'm bringing my cursor down, clicking on that, and now you'll see between these points that we plotted out, it has drawn the true center line of your spindle. Now that the camera is calibrated, we're gonna move from the target to a small drill in front of the guide bushing camera. Okay, so now we've positioned a small drill in front of the camera and took it to X and Y zero, and you can see it's off a little bit. So what we're gonna do now is go into manual jog mode but I want to come down here on the software and say align tool. Now I've got two choices, align to center or align left to right. Align left to right would be for cross working tools like a drill or an end mill. We're going to align to center, which is for a drill or a turning tool. So align to center comes up here and I ask you for some information because we're going to document this setup. We're going to document the actual process, but we're just playing with numbers here. So machine number one, operator number one, tool number one is what we're saying and so th this is your offset value or your tool position machine position value they get rather long numbers we're just playing with numbers so I'm just gonna say it's four inches on X we're gonna tab and we're gonna say it's four inches on Y so now what we're gonna do is we're going to manual jog mode and Derek's gonna move X to move it up on center of these crosshairs so slowly in thousands or tenths Derek's going to make the move here to bring the drill up on center. Let's 
so rotate your spindle around just a little bit, Derek. There, right there, oh, back, right there. Now, we're very close to being X and Y at zero. And now what I like to do at this point is rotate it 90 degrees, which is an indicator you can't do this. So right there, you're gonna see it. we're spinning really close to center right now. So if you can spin that around and that drill point stays right on those crosshairs, we know we're right on center. And so what we wanna do now is come down here to our offset page, our offsets and see how much we moved it. So if we've moved it like two thousandths and three thousandths, we'd type in X is now 4.002 and we can tab and say 4.003 and you'll see you'll notice down here that it shows you how much we moved it and what we're going to do is we're going to save this to a file it's a simple text file and we're documenting your process and we're documenting it proof of that it was set up properly and we can also train off of this you'll see it took a screenshot of the image here and it also took a time and date stamp of when we accomplished it and all the other information we put into that form, machine number, operator number, tool number, where it was, where it is, and how much we moved it. So we can actually come back to a setup and make that tool look just like this image and know that the tool is gonna run properly. Okay, so we've established the drill being on center and documented, so now we're gonna bring in a turn tool. This is actually a groove tool. It's in uh, tool number two, and we positioned it to an MDI of X and Y is zero of where we think it was on size, but yeah, as you can see, it's not on the crosshairs. So we have machine coordinates established on X and Y. Uh, it's X of 0 0.0815 and a Y of 2.828. So now what Derek is gonna do is in manual jog mode, he's gonna actually move the tip of this tool to the crosshairs. He's moving in Y now. He's gonna bring it down on X. As he's moving it down to X here, you can see, all right, right, right there. Now move it back over on Y. And we've established X and Y at zero. And Derek, what are your new machine coordinates? So we got X point zero six six five. We've got a new Y of two point eight four two. Point zero. 665, 665, sorry, and tab, and a 2.842. So down here you can see it's doing the math for us of how much we moved it in both axes to get it on the center. We're gonna save this to file. We're gonna view the file, and you'll see that this tool is established underneath the drill that we, that we did previously. There was our drill from our previous one. Here's our turn tool with, a, again, time and date stamp when we made it happen. Now it's the tool number, where it was, where it is, and how much we moved it. Again, validating the setup was done, can be used for training, can be used for any kind of documentation also. Here we're showing the subspindle camera mounted in the subspindle for another quick and easy calibration. With the Perfect Zero Visual Alignment System Kit, you get the laptop with the proprietary Perfect Zero software installed. You get the guide bushing camera. You get the subspindle camera. You have a series of targets with the small holes in them, a carrying case, and then we also have a service tray that you can put the laptop on while you're doing the installation.